Hello beautiful souls. My name is Hannah and welcome back to our channel. Today I have a really powerful reading for you guys on the energy of August. What you can expect, what you may be going through this month, and some messages of divine guidance for you as you are heading into the final month of summer and this next chapter of your life with August 1st being today. So I am using five oracle decks here. Like I said, it's going to be really powerful and have a lot of juicy information in here. The first deck I'm going to use is the Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. I love this deck. It's really, really powerful and has some beautiful artwork on it. So I'm just going to go maybe pull one or two cards from each deck and see what messages are going to come through for you. So the first card we have is Unbound, Releasing Soul Patterns, Contracts, and Past Lives. Yeah, so with this card, we're really looking at the energy of coming into your true divine self, letting go of what no longer serves you, letting go of the ego, letting go of the illusion of separation, letting go of things that are have been holding you back from stepping into your true power, whether this be a relationship, a friendship, a job. You may be transitioning out of something um, that's been a part of your life for a long time, but really what this is doing is it's setting you free. You can literally see the girl here with, the least amount of ropes tangling around her. She's just skyrocketing up towards towards the moon. And this is what you can expect for yourself this month as you're letting go of the old ways of being, of what you may have been carrying, of any baggage, of limiting beliefs, of fears, of thoughts that maybe you aren't good enough or that you're unworthy for what dream you've had in your heart your entire life. Just let that go. It's untrue. Unbind yourself from these lies and accept that you're truly divine. You are truly worthy of everything that you've ever desired in your life and you're worthy of unconditional divine love and the experience of that in your own life and in your twin flame union. So the next deck we have is the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle. This is a really awesome deck too and let's see what messages we have coming through. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. So if you have been having any questions on your mind of, should I do this? Is this the right move for me? You know, the answer is yes. You're getting the guidance right now that yes, it is safe to move forward. You know, you, you can trust your intuition. You can trust your inner guidance. You can trust what you have been feeling and experiencing. The only person that can lead you to the next chapter of your life, which is going to be full of love and full of abundance and full of joy, is you. And it's safe to step forward and to trust in that path, to trust that the messages that you've been receiving from your intuition into your heart, they are for you and you can trust them. You can let go of the doubts and the fears and anything that may be um, keeping you from stepping forward into this next chapter, whether this be, like I was saying before, with the previous card of Unbound, whether this is you know, stepping into a new role, a new job, starting a new hobby, um, starting a new habit, a new daily routine. These are all things that you may have felt guided to and what the universe is saying, yes, give this a try, check it out. And it's going to leave you with a new understanding of who you are and a deeper connection to yourself. The next deck we have is the Defined Feminine Oracle. And this is really powerful. This um, pulls from uh, masters and saints all of divine feminine incarnations and essence and the card we have in this deck is mary magdalene the apostle to the apostles i am the bridge between heaven and earth i am fully human and fully divine this is my favorite card in the entire deck i'm really happy this came through for today because this is really telling you that the energy of August is bringing you a complete transformation of your life. It's really showing you, this month is here to show you that you are bridging the gap between who you've been and who you came here to be. You are stepping into this portal of pure light and this is going to allow you to ascend at a rate that you have never experienced before. It's going to allow you to really bridge the gap between heaven and earth, between your divine self and who you've been, who you are now, and to merge that into your physical form, into bringing about your dreams and desires on earth. 
And you can call on Mary Magdalene. You can call on her twin flame, Jesus. You can call on them at any time to support you on your ascension path and know and trust that the ascended masters, the divine masculines, the divine feminines who have come before us, who have walked this path, have already walked it. There's already a way shown. And as you go into this month of August, really begin to claim and embody your divinity. You are fully human and you are fully divine. You are a divine child of God. And that's what Mary Magdalene has come through to let you know today. And the more that you embrace and claim your divinity, this is going to fast track not only your ascension, but your twin flame union, the romance, the life, all of the desires of your dreams. This is what is going to bring it to life because as you're letting go of the ego, as you're letting go of separation during this month, you're claiming your divinity. You are claiming what's yours. You are claiming your power. You are claiming why you are so incredible and amazing and powerful. And you are stepping into that energy and there's literally no stopping you. In the next deck, we have the magic of the unicorns. Really magical deck here. And with this one, we have, ooh, card popped right out. Access your gifts, explore your treasure chest, accept who you truly are. Yeah, yeah, this is going perfectly with the rest of the reading. Like as you unbind yourself from the past, as you say yes to the next step, as you call on the masters, as you begin to walk the path of ascension, as you choose love, choose your divinity, you are able to tap into your gifts. You are able to access the treasure chest within you. And this month, this month of August, this is giving you a portal to this energy, a portal to your innate essence coming through, to tapping into past lives that you've gained skills in, to tapping into your soul essence, to tapping into all of the gifts and incredible abilities that you have. It is safe to accept who you truly are, to claim who you truly are, to let go of any sort of fears or doubts of separation from your divine self and from being so powerful, so magical, and so incredible. And you can see here, like there's a violin, there's a rose, there's flowers, there's a crown. There's just so much showing in this card of how you can really embrace your creativity, embrace your uniqueness, Embrace that you are not like everyone else and that is okay. You have something to say. You have something to share with the world. And it is time to do that. It's like this month is really calling you to, it's, we're stepping into the second half of 2023. And as we're doing this, we are stepping into this new energy of, you know, you remember that going back to school energy, that energy of, oh, I'm ready to do this. I've got this. That is what you can tap into right now. And to really claim and honor yourself for who you are, what you've been through, and trust and know that that is that you've gone through all of that because there was a reason for it, because it has shaped you and honed you into the person that you are right now, which is somebody who has the ability to help others, the ability to shine light in a way that no one else can shine light, and you're ready to do that. And the last deck we have is Rumi Oracle. This is my favorite deck, one of my first ones really loved and I think there's going to be a special message for this one to wrap it up. Whirling Goddess. Yeah, this is just a summation of the entire reading of who you truly are, whether you're the divine masculine or the divine feminine watching this right now. You are a goddess. You are a god. You are an incarnation of the divine and you can really embrace, you know, like we said in this past card, all of your gifts. You are a kaleidoscope of colors, of creativity of talents of uniqueness you are so incredible and this month you're really being called to explore these things to explore painting to explore a new hobby to explore a new exercise routine to explore a new date idea with yourself to read a new book to tap into some of these colors and creations that are available to you right inside uh, inside yourself, these ideas that maybe you've been putting off for a long time, that friend that you haven't spoken to a while but feel called to because just because you feel love and you feel the desire to share your love with somebody, you don't need anything from anybody else. You are a fully capable and passionate and incredible being and you can truly just whirl around just like this goddess in this card and find your own flow with this life. And this month of August is really giving you the opportunity to do that, to find your flow, to let go of 
everything that does not serve you to say yes to the, your intuition, yes to what you have been he hearing, what you have been seeing, the signs, to understand that you are as powerful as Mary Magdalene, as your twin flame Jesus Christ, and you are working towards the Christ consciousness right now, and you are worthy of it and deserving of it. And that this is going to help you to access your gifts, to access your divine energy, to access your divine essence, and to bring about the manifestation of your heaven on earth and heaven on earth for all. And really, this is what we're all doing right now. We're just whirling around in the mind of God. And it's safe to do that. It's safe to have fun. It's safe to explore, to follow your heart completely and watch what unfolds. And I'll pull one more from the Work Your Light deck. Pillar of light, your vibration is raising. You are the oracle. Yeah, this is the perfect summation for this whole reading. You are the oracle. You have everything that you need inside of you. And this month you're being called to sit in meditation, to sit with yourself, to practice yoga, to go on long walks, to let go of relationships, of thoughts, of habits that are not serving you any longer. Because you are truly this beautiful divine person just ascending into the heart of God and you are doing an incredible job and it is safe to keep going to trust that you are here for a reason and that everything in your life is coming together perfectly and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading for August 2023 let me know about your experience this month in the comments what resonated for you any takeaways you may have and what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. We do all sorts of videos on twin flames, on ascension, on healing. And yeah, I just really want to share what we've learned with all of you to help you in some small way in your path. So thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.